Court, what do we need to be aware of? Yeah, Julia, and for today, believe it or not, because we are talking about substantial winter weather on the way, we're still dealing with fire danger, and the big problem we're facing is winds are going to be very strong and out of the north, and humidity is going to be low, down to as low as 15% this afternoon. Meanwhile, winds gusting up to 50 miles an hour, sustained winds could reach 30 miles an hour. Now, during that time, you're still going to want your jacket temperatures cooling on down. We'll be in the high 50s to low 60s this afternoon. Fire danger today will be in the high range that significantly drops. Heading into your forecast on Tuesday as we do see that rain and snow returning. The wind advisory in effect from 9 a.m. this morning through 6 p.m. today. After that, we're expecting to see those winds diminishing a little bit. But during that time, again, we could be looking at gusts up to 50 miles an hour. And then as we take a look forward to your Tuesday into Wednesday forecast, substantial snowfall is likely to impact travel. You can see 6 to 18 inches of snow possible in the foothills, so up to a foot and a half of snow in areas like Paradise and Megalia. Two to three feet of snow in higher elevations. This is going to be a major concern if you're traveling through the mountains. So again, that winter storm warning going from 10 a.m. Tuesday through 4 p.m. on Wednesday. After that, it doesn't look quite as active out there, but nonetheless, still something to certainly keep in mind. Temperatures this morning mostly bottoming out in the 30s to 40s in the valley, higher elevations in the 20s to 30s, and winds already starting to pick up for the north end of the valley, 14 miles an hour out of the north in Redding. We're going to show you those future cast winds coming up in just a few minutes and what's expected throughout the day. Meanwhile, satellite and radar right now showing you mostly clear skies. We are starting to track some scattered snow showers just along the California and Oregon border, but moving forward, we'll see substantially more for tomorrow. So through the day today, most of the active weather is staying in Siskiyou County and possibly north northern Shasta County, so we're mostly dry heading through your Monday. Tuesday, that changes very quickly. Take a look at this. By noon on Tuesday, we've got snow showers moving through the northern mountains. Towards the afternoon, we're looking at substantial snowfall in the mountains, potentially even some snowfall in the north end of the valley in Redding. Now, the issue here is that we're going to have gusty south winds during that time. That could prevent some of that snow from falling in lower elevations. We're looking at another wind advisory Tuesday evening through early Wednesday. Gust up to 50 miles an hour out of the south on Tuesday night. And then we do see the chance for more rain and snow continuing heading into Wednesday. Potential is there for rain and snow on Thursday. Thunderstorms possible in the valley for Thanksgiving. Temperatures this afternoon, low 60s if you're in the valley. Higher elevations, 40s to 50s and low to mid 50s in the foothills later today. And getting a look ahead at your Storm Tracker 7-day forecast where your weekend's always in view. 62 degrees with sunny skies in Chico today. Winds gusting up to 50 miles an hour out of the north. It looks like we'll see 40 mile an hour gusts for Chico though. High 40s on the way for the remainder of your work week. Mid to high 40s at that for your high temperatures and overnight lows getting much colder through the week. You'll notice 30s for the next couple of mornings, then 20s as we head towards your weekend. Thanksgiving forecast, 46 degrees your high with that chance for thunderstorms on the way. And then a little break in the wet weather on the way late Thursday into Friday. Potentially seeing some showers returning Saturday evening through Sunday. Reading again, 60 degrees for today. We'll see those gusty north winds tomorrow. Rain and snow are possible in Reading. We'll see temperatures in the mid to high 40s for the remainder of your work week. Heading into your weekend, overnight lows dropping into the 20s. Get those jackets and umbrellas handy. Julia, you're going to be needing them for the week ahead.